The village of Uku in Indian-administered Kashmir supplies 90% of the wood used in Indian pencils. The moisture levels in the region's poplar trees make them perfect to write with. But with schools being closed for most of the past two years, demand for stationery is down and many workers in Uku's factories have lost their jobs. I am a university graduate, but there are no jobs available. Thank God that we were hired to work here. So many have been fired in other factories, and it's impossible to get a job in these tough times. Unemployment in India rose to a four-month high of nearly 8% in December. That's after most states imposed restrictions to slow down the spread of the coronavirus fueled by the Omicron variant. In Kashmir, the situation is always tense. But the last two years is the first time schools have been shut in India and other countries too, which has impacted us badly. The business has started to recover in December, but with this new COVID variant, we are back to square one. It's a sentiment being shared by business owners across India. Gym owner Chirag Sethi says gyms have been forced to shut for nine of the past 22 months. All the gym owners were already in a burden of debt. Okay, but now with this lockdown, it is actually breaking down our back because now we have no money left. No bank is giving us any loan. We have sold the jewelry for our wives, our mothers. People have sold jewelry. People have sold their cars. People have begged to borrow whatever they could do to just survive the last lockdown. Despite the downturn, the government says the economy will grow by nearly 10% this year, but economists say it's too early for optimism. I don't think that these estimates have factored in Omicron at all. And so what you are likely to see is that there will be a revision in the second advance estimate, which will come out at the end of February, which will be downwards, and quite maybe quite seriously downwards, depending upon what happens in the next couple of months. As the government prepares to release its budget next month, the queues in the capital of daily wage laborers waiting with their tools, hoping to be selected for work, keep growing longer. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi, 